Tonight's lotto is $500 million. That's half a billion dollars. I bought one ticket for half a billion dollars to see if I would win. And when the results come in, I will share those results with you. Of course, the odds of winning are one in 300 million, so pretty slim chance of winning. But it does make me think, and it does remind me to think, am I doing what I'd be doing if I had won the lottery? The whole point of buying this ticket is to remind me, am I doing what I'd be doing if I had won the lottery? If I win the lottery, will my goals for 2022 stay the same? That's the point. Have you written down your goals yet? We are having the traditional Japanese New Year morning dish, which is... Mine doesn't look that good. Oh, Takas looks really good. Omochi. And wait, Takas doesn't have mushrooms, Tomoko. Why, why is Lisa? Like why is Lisa the only you one who doesn't have mushrooms? It's called toshikoshi soba. Uh -huh, what does that mean? It's a noodle that we eat at New Year's Eve, and then the soba presents a long life, long healthy life. Okay, let's take a look at that. Boy, that looks beautiful, Tomoko. <coughs> you really made that look beautiful. Man, that looks you good. me? Yeah. That looks really good. I think good. I read six books this past year. Really just six? In Japan, we say, you say, Akemashite omedetou gozaimasu, right? But that's the year, that's after the new year. What do you say before that? Okay, so you say, Akemashite omedetou gozaimasu, which means, to the opening of the new year, congratulations, right? Mm -hmm. Right, Tomoko? Yes. Isn't that what it says? Yeah. Okay. That was COVID. Yesterday, I talked about my raffle and I still did not have a system in place yet in order for people to enter into that raffle. I finally set that up. If you look in the description, you'll have a link to a website called Gleam.io. Gleam you'll be able to sign up for the raffle through your Google account, through your YouTube account. So it's gonna have to link it and then it automatically enters you into the drawing. Please press on that link, click, on the uh, YouTube, uh, enter through YouTube and it'll all set you up. It automatically picks a winner for me. I wanna continue talking about goals. Today is January 1st and usually it's always the same thing. By the end of January, most people that set out to accomplish all these goals fall off. So my goal is to try to help you not fall off. And there was a study done by Gail Matthews through the Dominican Republic University that studied, they took five groups of people and I think it was about, it was about 263 or 269 people and they created five groups. And they discovered that if you write your goal down, that 20% of, you were 20% more likely to accomplish that goal. That's huge, right? By just thinking about a goal and writing it down, there's a 20% difference. Now, and they also discovered that you have, you increase your odds of completing that goal by 40% if you write down the goal, you write down an action plan, you share that action plan with a friend and you complete some progress reports along the way. So this is just, I mean, a lot of companies do this kind of stuff. Um, it's, it's kind of ingrown into the culture of some companies because they know it works. So I'm hoping that you will write your goals down, create an action plan, share it with a friend, and then revisit it at least every quarter, every three months. Ideally, every month or every week would be even better. I talked a lot yesterday about that one thing. What would be that one thing, that one goal that you would want to accomplish? And I, 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 read, I wrote down 17 goals this morning with my family. And out of those 17, I listed them in order of what I want to accomplish for sure and what would be great to accomplish. And, and then I, fo I kind of focused on what's that one thing, if 
I could only do one thing this whole year, what would it be? And I'm going to share that with you guys. This year, that one thing for me, and if you know what your one thing is, please leave it in the comment below. Let me know what it is. What's that one thing? Share it with me. Put it in the comments down below. For me, that one thing is to vlog every single day this year. So to put up 364 videos on my YouTube channel, that's the one thing that I'd want to accomplish this year. I think that would be awesome. That's like so cool. Now, that's one out of 17 things. If I won this $500 million, this half a billion dollar lottery, if I won this, that goal would definitely not change. As a matter of fact, I would go all out. I'd buy like the nicest, can I'd buy a Red Dragon Kodamono Komodo or whatever you call it. I'd buy the whole studio and the light sets and I would have so much fun. But remember, it doesn't take money. I've got this $364 GoPro. It's actually $318 now. You can probably even get it for cheaper because this is the GoPro 9. And all I gotta do is vlog every day. I don't need any more money than that. My whole point is, would you change your goals if you won the jackpot lotto? And if you would, hey, go back and change your goals. Put down what you would do regardless of whether you won or not because it's not about the money. It's about your passion and your desire to accomplish things in life. I'd like to share this quote with you. So, as you know, Benjamin Franklin said, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That, that, that has a lot of meaning, you know? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I think planning is essential. Another great quote by Michael Phelps, I think goals should never be easy. They should force you to work, even if they're uncomfortable at times. Michael Phelps has won, I think, 21 gold medals in his Olympic career. That's huge, that's awesome. Another really awesome quote I wanna share with you is from Pablo Picasso. Our goals can only be reached through a vehicle of a plan in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act. There is no other route to success. As Pablo Picasso, his paintings sell for millions and millions of dollars. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be interviewing my brother, my brother, works for the school district out in California, Santa Barbara, and we're gonna get together tomorrow. We're gonna have an awesome interview and talk about goal planning and goals for 2022. And he's, he's a great guy, he's very experienced and has a lot of knowledge and has accomplished a lot in his lifetime. So I think it'll be really helpful hearing from him, you know, the things that you can do to help you become successful and accomplish your goals. We're at the end of January 1st, and we're at the beginning of 2022, and all the wonderful goals and resolutions that we have. And, you know, I want for you to write them down. And I want you, and I really want for you guys to be successful. Write those goals down, share them with a friend, create an action plan. There's no limit to what you can achieve. Please remember, to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new content, and always leave a comment. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.